so this is our, this look that I'm going for today is called the New Rebel. The New Rebel is is inspired by young fashion kids, you know, with you know great street style and you know a big movement on the kind of surfy, beachy, punky feel to the hair. So what we've what we've done today with the colour. On the underneath, we've taken a band here and we've really worked the colour so matte today. Um, through here, we have used like a, a green tone and then a real flat ash brown um, through the underneath. We've worked three different panels through the top using different um, slicing techniques, using a, a ash auburn, um, a really cool ash and... Um, a nice kind of um, gold tone that's put in there. Right, so with my haircut, again, you can see my, my um, cutting pattern, keeping the sides and the back separate. I want to start on the back through this haircut, um, and I'm going to cut it with my razor all the way through. Okay, so uh, what I would like to do is uh, hold in with a lot of tension when you're using your razor and keeping your blade really flat, just sliding down the hair. Now we're going for this real kind of soft, surfy, um, teenage feel to this haircut. Okay. I love working with the razor because you get a really amazing texture through the hair. So again, just really breaking up any shapes that was originally through the hair, smashing that shape up. Okay, now I'm going to release this section here. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to work this out at a kind of 20 degree angle through the back here. And just again, keeping your razor really flat, but working any shape that was already in there, taking it out, okay? You can see this angle clearly from the side. Lots of tension when you're using your razor. It's taking the weight out of here. Okay, and again, work in another section. So you're just working up, working up until you've eventually run out of the hair at the top of the occipital bone. Lots of tension again and pulling straight out from the head and building up on your shape. The most important thing when you're using your razor as well is to make sure that you have lots of tension on the hair as soon as you can control the haircut. Okay, so really pulling out on my angles here. So almost up to 45 degrees now. Okay, so what the, the, the look that you can see here, you can see all the darker colours coming through, the real flat ash browns. Um, by taking all the weight out of here, you're getting this real um, strong underflow through the bottom. So you're getting this real kind of surfy chick. Real on the street look just now. Okay, so lots of tension and we're starting to build our shape up again. Really keeping your razor really flat to the head. 
really flat to the hair and not digging in, just gently combing down. And your next section again, you're really building your angles right out this way. You can really see the colours starting to work through now. So you've got your petrol greens here and some really nice ash and auburn tone mixed together. So we're working these sections exactly the same as the other side. This is a really simple and effective look. So lots of tension, keeping it really flat down on the face and curving your shape out here with your razor. Connecting your sides through from front to back through this area here. Okay, so with our next section, we're building our shape out again. Okay, and I'll just show you from this angle. We're really working this right out now. We're almost getting up to our 45 here and lots of tension, keeping your blade really flat to the hair. Okay, so this is building into a really great shape now. The colour's really working with this look. Again, what I want to do through the front here is I don't want it too solid. I want to go for this real soft, rebellious look through the front. So I'm just going to razor out the edge. Lots of tension. And just taking the... From about half an inch to the length of the hair, just break that all up. Okay. I want to work in segments, holding everything up at 90 degrees, lots of tension again, and just taking a lot of that weight out there. So we don't want to take a lot of length off of this, we want a little overhang going on, but lots of weight out. So we've got this really nice overhang going through here. What I would like to do now is dry my new rebel and then we'll personalise it when I'm finished. <laughs> 